Hey, what is going on guys? Welcome back to Too Much Tech. And today we're just gonna be doing a much requested video as of recently. Hopefully this answers a lot of you guys' questions in regards to how to set up G-Sync when you have a FreeSync monitor and an NVIDIA GPU. So let's get started with that because it's pretty important that you don't skip any of these steps because if you do, you just, you just won't have it. So it's easy to do, it's not hard. And I think you have to have like a 10 series NVIDIA graphics card or newer. And I think the lowest 10 series graphics card that you can use that is compatible is like a GTX 1060, six gigabyte and up. So if you have a 1060, six gig, 1070, 80 Ti, whatever, you should be good to go. It's not just RTX cards, so that's what's nice about it. So the first thing you wanna do is open up this NVIDIA GeForce Experience app. Um, basically, this is just what you use to uh, update your drivers. And that's really important because you gotta make sure that you have one of the more recent drivers from like the middle of January because that's when they enabled the compatibility. But for me, at least once a week, I always update, uh, I always check for updates on the NVIDIA GeForce Experience. So you just hit check for updates. Normally, if you haven't already updated your driver, it'll say, you know, new game ready driver ready and it'll have like an update or download button right here. You just click that, wait about like five-ish minutes and it usually doesn't take too long for it to like download and install. So that's really important to make sure that you do this first. This is the very first thing that you should do because if you don't and your graphics card is not up to date, and your drivers aren't up to date, basically you won't be able to enable G-Sync at all. Next thing you wanna do is go to NVIDIA control panel. So you just click that, you just right click on your desktop and then it'll pull up right here. Just click this little button right here that says set up G-Sync, enable G-Sync, G-Sync compatible. If you play all your games in full screen, just hit full screen mode, click on the monitor that you wanna select that is your gaming monitor, and then just hit whichever one of these that you prefer. I usually do windowed and full screen, like I said, just because I use more than one monitor. That is pretty much it. It's really it's really not very hard, um, but you do also do wanna make sure that your resolution and refresh rate for your monitor are correct as well. If you want like the best case scenario and best performance from your monitor, I would highly suggest using a DisplayPort cable to your graphics card and then uh, max out your resolution and max out your refresh rate. This is also how you change your refresh rate. Just change resolution, refresh rate right here, 120, 144, 240. So whatever you have available, um, just make sure it's not like 60 or something like that because 60 is kind of ugly. Trust me, once you go over 60, you'll be like, eh. Yeah, no. <laughs> but uh, yeah, guys, that is pretty much it. One thing I will say too, um, if you want a little bit better performance in game, like now that you have G-Sync enabled, just remember to turn V-Sync in game off. I think V-Sync does affect like your FPS a very minor amount, but more importantly, I think V-Sync also affects the, uh, the input delay that you see like between your peripherals and the game. G-Sync, I don't think impacts it nearly as much, and I think that's why it's really popular. And also, G-Sync works a lot better than um, V-Sync does. But like I said, it's really, really easy. Should only take you probably less than two minutes. You know, once your graphics card drivers are up to date, you know, literally just set up G-Sync, change resolution, and make sure your refresh rate and uh, resolution are correct. That's gonna be it for this video, guys. If you guys enjoyed, be sure to drop a like and subscribe if you guys are new, and I will catch you guys the next one hey what is up guys just have a really quick announcement for you just want to let you know that i created a community discord so that if you guys want to play together just message me on there and it'll be really easy to do so so join the link is in the description it's free it doesn't cost anything you just if you're trying to play fortnite that'll probably be the best way to get a hold of me so cool cool see you there